Hey guys, happy weekend or weekday whenever you guys are watching this. I hope you're all having an awesome, awesome day. Me and the girls are just lounging around the house. I'm actually waiting on Alan who's going to bring a grocery haul, which I'm going to show you all, see what he ended up getting. I know we're going to get a ton of meat because we are totally out. The freezer needs to be done and I'll show you that too. So yeah, as soon as he gets here, I'm gonna show you that. But yeah, I hope you're all doing great. I hope your week's going well for you guys that are doing homeschooling at home or sending the kids to school I hope everything's going well and you're having an easy week or weekend so yeah guys let's go ahead and jump into the footage as soon as Alan gets here let's do that all right Alan just got here guys. from save lots oh tons of meat too mm, that's nice let me unload and see what all we ended up getting yeah I was in the mood for some tacos I told him to grab some stuff <laughs> so let's see what he got Okay, so she is all unloaded and he got tons of meat. This is awesome. So this total, if you're curious, I have the receipt right here, came out to $119.93 as you see along the bottom, which was due time because we are out of meat completely in the freezer. I think we only have one pack of this chicken breast left. So as you see, it was $12.79 for this one. Got a couple of chuletas or like, um, what are they called? Pork loins. This one's $8.22. No bones on that one. And then some actual chuletas or pork chops here for $9.52. You guys know I love getting my meat from Save A Lot. It's always like super duper fresh. I cannot complain. And you tend to get tons of deals. Check out this one. This one was the ones we're going to make now. That one says $6.43 for that pack. He grabs two of them. The other one's like six seventy something. I was super craving some pig feet, so ended up getting just this pack for only me. I'll cook these on a separate day. Sorry if you guys don't like seeing stuff like that. My bad. And then a couple of tenders. Um, I like making these a lot for the girls and just very practical and fast. Um, four packs of those. They're all around probably the same price. Oh, that one was only $3.84. And a couple more along the bottom. Like I said, four of those total he grabbed. These are some more carnitas, like in case we want to make some more um, tacos in the future. This was the beef chunk. That one says it was $6.29. Look how fresh that looks. And that was on special. So that's what I'm talking about. It's always so fresh looking, even if it's on sale. So definitely check them out if you have one in your area. Hopefully they're as fresh looking as ours. Ours is really good with that. All right, what's over here? Some more steak. Leave it to the man to find some steak. <laughs> But he ended up finding this one. Some two big pieces too. It says $12.92. There they are. And a second pack. This one's a little bit different. That one says $13.36. Really big packs. I don't know if you could see my veins working on my hands to be able to hold that up. But it's pretty heavy. Got some corn tortillas. Some regular flour tortillas for the girls. Some salsa. And some salsa verde. And then we also got some bananas for Luna. Because she loves bananas. Um, and three sodas, and yeah, that's the outcome. It ended up coming out to, let's see right there, $119.93. So really, really good total amounts. And I can even show you too, so you can see what our refrigerator looks like. It looks pretty rough in here in the freezer. See, super empty. I think I only have some hot dogs left, some veggies, pack of french fries. There's that one piece of meat that I told you about. I think these are two packs of muslos or chicken thighs. And I always get these like once in, once a year, I would say I get them. They're like the pot stickers. They're really good, but it takes us forever to go through them. I don't know if you can see them. They're pretty good, but again, they take us so long to go through them and one ice cream. So there's that. And we already had breads and tons of cereal, so we didn't need anything like that. But there it is. That's the grocery haul. And I think you did good. You did good. You did good. It's a good one. It's going to fill up this freezer. Okay, so I cleared the table super with the quickness, put the bananas up on the top, and pow! There's the freezer, nice and organized. I love seeing such an organized freezer. Am I the only one? But I have it all sorted. Everyone, everything pretty much fit right here. This is the older pack of chicken breast, and then this is the newer one. So we use this one up first, and we also had some of the ground turkeys in there. Little french fries in the back, but it all looks good. Super organized, I love how that looks. Always a good day when it's organized. And then I just put the Pepsis or sodas right over here and they're just out the way. And I guess it's just now time to get this washed, seasoned, cooked, 
and make some tacos because I am ready. I am ready for those bad boys. Okay, so I ended up making them like this. Look how good that looks. Put some peppers and stuff in there. I have some frijoles back here just heating. Some tortillas. Actually in here I got some yellow rice. So okay, I wanted some tacos. <laughs> it's going down. And then right here I actually tried this out. I've never made it before. It's pretty much like Louisiana. Um, pretty much like corn flakes on top. Not corn flakes. Like corn breading. So that's the steak. It was just fried. Hold on Luna. I just this is what I added to that. So I added some of this to that steak over here and just fried it. So this is what it looks like. It came out pretty good. It was a little bit spicy. So I'm glad I just did one because the girls are not going to eat that. But me and Alan will. So that's, so that's okay. Speaking of the girls, they're being loud. So yeah, so here's the steak. Looks really good. Still cooking it. Put some peppers and onions in there. Some tortillas. I'm going to make some corn tortillas for me and Alan. And the frijoles. So, oh, and of course the yellow rice. Yum. All right, guys, here it is. That's Alan's plate. I think I gave him enough, right? That should, that should be, is that good? I think it's good. <laughs> should be plenty, some sort of extra tortillas, and here is mine. I took uh, some of the fried one right here, and then here's the regular steak, just pan seared. Tons of peppers and onions, and of course, like some frijoles. Oh, can't wait. Yum. Okay, so I decided to go for some soup today, some sopa or caldo. Oh, sorry, fucking up the camera. Let me fix that. Yep, so I got some caldo going here. It's pretty much some beef chunks, if you could see it. Okay, little beef chunks with some carrots and onions and some collards. I got a couple of potatoes in here. There's one, like, randomly in here. So good. It's a perfect day for this, too. It is so rainy. So I don't know if you could tell, but look how rainy and cloudy it is outside. What a perfect day for some sopa, some caldo. So good. Look at it. This looks fantastic. Yum. So many collard greens, too. I put a lot in. Yep. There's beef chunks and some potatoes randomly in there. Carrots and big pieces of onion in case anyone wants to take them out. So yummy. I cannot wait to dig into this. It looks so good. Yum. Alright, here it is. The finished soup at caldo. It looks so good. They make him out super tender. Ah! <laughs> there goes the foam again. Let me clean you. <laughs> and the collars are super tender also and the potatoes came out really good too so good now it's time to eat if anyone else who's eating i hope you enjoy so hey guys again as you can see this was shot between two days i really wanted to show you that caldo or that soup the stew that i ended up making it turned out so good nothing like this cloudy or rainy weather and having a nice warm soup to gobble down so i definitely wanted to share that with you all which is why i'm ending it here and yeah i'm in the girls room or side room because this is where they have their closet and i've been trying to organize it so that's why i'm in here so i ended up deciding to just end the vlog here i hope you guys really enjoy it if you guys like this don't forget to thumbs up subscribe down below and check out some of our other videos you guys know we do couponing product reviews cooking hauls you name it we do kind of everything around here so if that sounds good to you go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe and yeah guys don't forget to stay happy stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day because after all it's no one else's and it's uniquely yours bye guys